What do you do? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today I wanted to talk about uh, what was a question that I got. And it's one I get often enough that I probably am not clear enough in my uh, social media. <laughs> and so it's good to have at least one video that answers this question. Is, and that's the question of basically, what is it that you do? And so I had a question from Ethan over LinkedIn. Uh, it's a new, new contact on LinkedIn. I connect with people. If you'd like to connect on LinkedIn, just uh, send me a message on there and let me know that you uh, had seen or heard my podcast or videos and, uh, and just that you'd like to connect. And I'd be happy to connect with you. As long as you don't have anything wacky or weird on your on your uh, page that would that would throw me off or make me think that you're a, a spammer or <laughs> anything of that sort, uh, just uh, I, I don't mind connecting with complete strangers. I do it all the time. So, uh, but Ethan was asking me to tell me, tell him a little bit more about my businesses because I kind of have an eclectic <laughs> eclectic lineup there on my LinkedIn profile, and so I was thinking about this, okay, how do you go about talking about this? In person, I don't have as much of an issue with because I can I can usually find out a little bit more about that person and where they're coming from. And so I either go with a long answer or a short answer. Sometimes on social media, it's a little bit more difficult, especially if you don't know the person as to why they're asking. And so how, how do you go about answering that question? And so I, I wanted to kind of come straight at it and kind of give you a, a as broad a view as I can. I could always go into more detail if any of these things interest you. So you could always reach out to me, social media or at my website, brianjpombo.com. But let's talk a little bit about it. So there's really two types of people that I work with right now, pretty exclusively. Now that there might be somebody that, that fits outside those lines. I've worked with people in politics. I've worked with people in uh, religion. I've worked with people in uh, nonprofit areas. But um, I tend to stick with two types of business owners. The first type of business owner is the person that's an aspiring business owner or new business owner, someone that's looking to get into business. And I can assist them with that. I've been in business for over 20 years of, of uh, in business of some sort. I've been in business exclusively for the past, uh, I don't know, what was it? Uh, coming up on 15 years, I guess now. Um, and so... I have a little bit of experience with it and just enough to help a person kind of get going. I also know I have a pretty good network of other people that I can connect people with. And so what I do is I don't charge anybody anything. When I work with a new person, I basically make a deal with them to, uh, if if it looks like I can help, I'll, I'll make a deal with them to, uh, to ba take a percentage of the profits uh, once they arrive, <laughs> if they arrive, and if they don't arrive, then I just uh, I waste my time and money with them. But I'm willing to take that chance on uh, most on on many of the people. I wouldn't say most of the people. If if, if you qualify, basically, I'd be willing to uh, spend time and money on you until until we're able to get a business up and running. Um, and if if that never occurs or if it fizzles out, which which can happen quite often. Uh, then I, I've wasted my time and money. So that's no big deal. That's the first type of person I work with is someone who's relatively new to the business world or relatively new to a new type of business uh, or a new industry that they're not uh, they're not familiar with. And so I can help walk them through that process if I have the background on it. Uh, the second type of person that I work with are someone who's already successful. They've had a business for a while. They're a business owner or they're at least in the executive end of the business to where they have, uh, they're pretty much one of the major decision makers. And what they do has a whole lot to um, to do with the success or failure of that business. And so when you have a situation like that, then that's a person who I can also help with. Completely different set of skills, completely different set of things there. Sometimes some of the principles are the same, the principles we talk about here, but uh, that, that tends to be a, a lot of what I discuss here is, is main broad-based principles, some of the strategies and everything will help more that person because that person is is somebody that I'd be making a deal with. I'd be really investing on on the long term in terms of uh, in either a major investor in terms of ownership or, uh, or some type of equity investment that I'll uh, be able to work out with them and their company based on what they've already done and where they're looking at going. 
and whether I can actually help them or not. So that that's how I tie that in. And that's my overall business investment concept. It, uh, both of those are, are completely separate businesses for me, but they, um, they work in very similar fashion and they, they work with me basically betting that I can help somebody or not. <laughs> if I can't help them, then we don't move forward. If I believe I can help them, then, uh, then we, we work out the parameters and we go from there. So that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of other things that are associated and other things that I've done and things I've done for uh, friends, family, and otherwise. But that is what I do. Uh, you could also find out more about my overall business philosophy and the type of things that I can help you with in the long run by reading my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You can get a free copy if you want to download it at amazonproofbook.com. All you got to do is give me your email address and I'll send you a copy immediately. It's all automated. You know, it sends it right over to you. So that's all I've got for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about um, a project that I've had in the wings that have nothing to do directly with the business, with the businesses that I discussed here tonight. But uh, it's a personal project that I'm going to tie into it and kind of show you how that kind of goes uh, about working. It has something to do with a movie that just came out. So tune in tomorrow. We'll, we'll discuss that. That's all I got. <laughs> you have a good night. Get out there and let the magic happen.